Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this deck walkthrough video of my brand new deck with Archangel Raphael, the Oracle of Healing. Now, there's a lot of cards in this deck, there's over 100 cards and when I first cr started creating this deck, I didn't intend for there to be so many cards, but once the messages started coming through and, you know, it was super powerful, it had to become what it needed to become. So when you're using this deck, you may want to splay it out or shuffle, whatever's easier for you. But this is a very powerful, intense deck. And I'm so excited that I've got it today and I can talk about it a little bit and share it with you. So this is how it comes. So if you buy this deck, this is exactly how it comes in like a shrink wrap. There isn't a guide boot that doesn't need to be because all of my decks are kind of created with the power of intuition. And that means that you are a powerful intuitive being. So when you call an Archangel Raphael and Jesus, the healing angels with this deck, you're going to know what the card means for you. Or you're going to know intuitively what the card means for the person that you are reading for. So whether you were using this for your own journey to bring in comfort for yourself through your physical self or your emotions, or you're bringing in a healing to others, you're going to know what the card means and what the message is that Archangel Raphael especially is trying to get across. So it comes like this and, you know, you've got this beautiful kind of relaxed card on the back. So let me show you how I've created this deck because this is a very beautiful deck. And, you know, whenever I'm creating decks, I always leave it to the angels to guide me. So I may have an intention for how the deck will be, but then the angels come in and, you know, put their intuitive energy into it and that means that it may start off one way and become something completely different so this step the oracle of healing it's actually in different parts so it can be used all together or separately whatever you need it for you know it's for you to use your way so the reason i chose an orange and not an angel for the picture is because oranges are sustenance the fruit of life you know it's about the juiciness of this journey and it's also about health so you know I really felt that that's what needed to be on the cover you know originally I thought oh it's going to be an angel but Archangel Raphael was like no you know this is about the physical experience of being alive and we go through things physically and we taste and we touch and we feel this journey and that's what oranges bring in whether you love them or you hate them you know, the juicy fruit and they bring a taste sensation into the mouth. And when we are operating in the physical, when we're living this physical life, we are tasting life and we taste it in many ways. So we may taste it in a good way or what we perceive to be a bad way. If we're going through something, whether that's a physical something or an emotional something, something in the mind or something in the body. And Archangel Raphael is reminding you that everything that happens in the body begins in the mind. That means it's usually because we're feeling diseased. That means we're feeling not at ease with the journey. When we are feeling at peace and happy and excited and joyful, our body is in a state of peace and ease. And, you know, disease and illness and sickness can't live in that environment. It's not a place for them to thrive. Whereas if we're feeling tired and drained and stressed out, so many things come from stress, then, you know, this negative energy that creates the, the disease has room to thrive in the body. So we have to address that too. You know, these things don't just happen. You know, they are created in some way. And it's usually through stress or anxiety. Now, these things can come in for another reason, which means we may have signed up for it before we've come, you know, to experience certain illnesses or certain things, to go through certain lessons. So you know yourself what you're going through and why trust in your intuition. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise, you know, you know your truth. So the first card on the back, you know, is a little message for you. So this isn't really to add into, you know, the deck itself. This is just for you. So use your intuition when using this deck. And if you feel that you need to see a doctor or a medical practitioner, always follow your own truth and discernment and take action accordingly. 
And that's the truth, you know, that's being realistic. You know, and I do that with myself. You know, usually if I'm going through something physically, I'm very aware of if it's my energy, if it's collective energy, or if it's something I'm connecting with George. And if I feel it's my energy, I'll do what feels good to me. So if I feel I need to go and get it checked out, I do that. But usually, first of all, I call on Archangel Raphael, I call on Jesus, and I connect with the angelic realm. And that's what the hand is there for. This is what we are offered. You know, we are offered help. We are offered guidance. We're offered sustenance. We're offered valuable information about our life. It's up to us if we accept it. So I've just put a disclaimer in there saying that I, the creator of this deck, do not claim to be a medical practitioner of any kind. And this deck is designed for advice and guidance only. And that's the truth. You know, whether you use this deck as gospel or you use this deck as just something extra that's your choice you know we all have free will always do what feels right to you so i'm going to go through the, the deck itself so first of all as i said it's in sections and again this wasn't something i thought it would turn into but it did so we've got sections so i'm just gonna get them out we've got a, well i mean there's one card that kind of sits on its own but I want to show you how you can use this. So, you know, and the thing is, I wanted to show you how it comes rather than opening it before I started this video and, you know, making it all into sections. I wanted to do it with you. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So there's different parts of the deck for a reason. And you'll understand why. So, you know, say if you're a healer and someone comes to you about how to relax... There's cards about that. If people come to you and ask about how you can treat whatever they're going through, then you have cards about that too. So, you know, this is a very powerful way Archangel Raphael guided me to create this deck. And, you know, the cards could have gone on and on and on. There could have been plenty more cards. But I felt that if I need to make a number, like a number two to this deck, then I can't. So... We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sections. So the first card we've got is fruit and veg. And this is add more, add more to your diet to feel better. So, you know, if you pull this card out and you're going through something, it may just be that you need to eat a little bit healthier. You know, adding more fruit, more vegetables to the diet, that may be all that you need. So trust your intuition. And the reason why I created this particular deck this way you know, was all what the, the idea was, because, you know, whenever I'm going through something physically, the first thing I do is reach for my pendulum, because it calms me down, am I okay, yes, no, you know, is, is everything going to be okay, is this happening, what's happening, I want to know, I want something that's going to boom, put my mind at rest, and sometimes if I use the Archangel Raphael Debt by Doing Virtue, wherever I'm trying to find that, because, you know, this is kind of a go-to healing deck for me as well. Sometimes I feel I have to really sit with the message, because you know what it's like when you're panicking, you're struggling with something physical, you may be going into the ego, and I do that, you know, because you could call it hypochondria, but I panic if I'm going through something physically, and that's something I'm learning to handle in this lifetime too. So sometimes this deck, it's a great deck, and I love this deck, but it isn't what I need. That's why I go to my pendulum. So I wanted to create a deck that's very easy to read and put the mind at rest very quickly. And that's what this is. So this is a deck that is really going to benefit you. So the first card, we've only got one no card. And the reason why is because that's, you know, that's a very bold answer but it says no, the answer is no, ask for further guidance because there's so much to understand. You know, if you're going through something physically and you're saying, you know, am I okay? And the message is no, then you want to know why. You don't want to just leave it at that. You know, okay, I know I'm not okay because of this. What's going on then? So you ask for further guidance. Whereas if you say, am I okay? And you get a yes, then you relax because you think, yes, I'm just panicking over nothing. It's collective energy, it's ascension, or, you know, I'm having a panic attack, or whatever it is, so that's why there's one no, so it's not me trying to rush over physical things, I don't want anyone to think, oh, there's only one no card, and there's lots of yes cards, or other cards, 
it's because if we do pull out the no cards, so say if you're using this deck and this is a big deck of cards with many cards in it, and you ask a card and the answer is no, and you panic because of that, you're going to know that you're going to need more guidance. So really no is no. Think about the word no, K-N-O-W. Knowing is knowing. So the message is no, the answer is no, ask for further guidance, okay? So in other words, no with a K. So the next ones we've got is yes, okay? And there's quite a few yes cards here, but they're all different answers. So first we've got yes, you are healing. So you may say, am I going to be okay? You know, I've asked that so many times to Archangel Raphael, am I going to be okay? Yes, you are healing. You're already healing. So that will put your mind at rest. Yes, you will heal. So if you do something, say if you hurt yourself or you cut yourself, you know, I've done that before and I've said, do I need to go and see someone? You know, the answer, or, you know, will I be okay? The answer is yes, you will heal. You know, you'll he maybe you say, do I need to go and see someone? And the answer is yes, but it says you will heal. So you may need to go and see someone, you may not. So use your intuition. Yes, there is healing. So there is healing taking place. And this can also be connected with yourself or another person. Yes, you are a healer. So you may say, am I going to be okay? And Raphael is saying, yes, because you are a healer. You are healing yourself in this moment. Yes, with faith. So you may, may need to have faith that you'll be okay. You know, maybe you're asking something about your twin flame journey. Yes, you are okay. Faith, because you are okay. You are okay. Am I okay? Yes, you are okay. That's what I ask a lot. Am I okay? Am I okay? I get the pendulum. Am I, am I okay? Yes, you are okay. Yes, it's going to be fine. So these are reassuring messages when you're going through something in the mind. Yes, with trust. And yes, you will get better. And yes, the answer is yes, whatever that may be. Yes, miracles are possible. And yes, you will feel better soon. So they are the yes and no's of this deck. The rest are connected with what you're going through. So we've got answers, diagnosis, treatment, love, observe, and relax. So I'm going to start with observe. There is a soul lesson being learned. So if you say, am I okay? And the answer is no. And then you pull out this card. There is a soul lesson being learned. So you can think, okay, what am I learning right now? There's a reason why I'm going through this physically. Okay, so you may want to head over to the diagnosis or the treatment deck there. You know, there's they, like mini decks in the, in the one deck. So, you know, you may want to just shuffle the cards. But if you pick this and you say, okay, you may start with the yes and the no. Okay, am I okay? You get yes. You know, you'll feel better soon. So you think, okay, what am I going through then? And you go to the observe. There is a soul lesson being learned. There is a spiritual reason. It's part of God's plan. View it from a higher place and observe your thoughts and feelings. Okay. You may think, okay, so what do I what, what do I need to do? So we've got treatment, answer, or diagnosis. So we go to the answer. The answer is it will heal. Okay. It's time for a change. A new you is about to emerge. Health is your birthright. Look at your life. Spend time in nature. Give thanks for and to every part of your life. Call on Jesus and Archangel Raphael for healing. See yourself in divine and perfect health. Talk lovingly to yourself. I am right by your side. That's Archangel Raphael or Jesus or anyone you're calling on in spirit. One of your guides. Chaos causes disruption. Give me a block in the throat. <clears throat> Maybe someone's watching this thinking, why well, have I got throat chakra activation happening? Well, why are things disrupted? Why is there no communication? Chaos causes disruption. And that could be a karmic situation or something else. Mending and healing is taking place. Your body knows what to do. Isn't that powerful? All we have to do sometimes is step out of ego and step out of our own way. Give your struggles to heaven. Prayer. Prayer will help. You are already healed in spiritual truth. The way that Jesus healed people is he saw people without illness. He saw people pure, innocent, without the ego and the struggle. 
and the dis-ease. He saw people at ease and that created the healing. All of heaven are assisting with this healing. So you may have already asked for help and then you pull this card out. And the angel's saying all of heaven are helping with this. You are safe and loved. A new time of life. So that could be connected with menopause or a big change. You know, when we change our life, we go through stress. You know, it's our ego brings stress in. So as good as it is to have a change or start again or begin a new life, it can also bring with it stress that affects the physical body. You intuitively know what to do. Okay, listen to that. Talk to your body. A fresh start. So sometimes all the, you know, you might be feeling physically ill and you ask, what do I need? And the answer is a fresh start. You need a new job or you need to move or you need something to change in your life. Use affirmations to boost your mood and elevate your frequency. So maybe all you need to do is just affirm all as well and feel at ease. You deserve to be healthy, so choose it. Choose health. Archangel Raphael saying, I am already healing you. A calm mind creates health. Trust what you feel. Love yourself more. It's quite normal. So you might be thinking, why am I going through this? And the angel saying, it's quite normal. Quite normal. It's possibly ascension. It could be something else. Forgiveness heals. Okay, so it may be you need to forgive. Now, maybe you're going through something you want a diagnosis. So the diagnosis could be listen to your intuition. That means you already know deep within. Trust that. Physically, you're okay. So you might be thinking there's something physically wrong, but it's connected with a panic attack or emotions or something else. Physically, you're okay. It's stress related. Most things are. It's connected with worry. It's dis-ease, which means you're not feeling at ease with things. Ascension symptoms. So you may be thinking, what am I going through? And this car comes up, you know, okay, I'm okay. It's ascension. There is no physical cause. So again, this could be you're going through something physically, but there's no physical cause for it. In other words, it's connected with the mind. Natural aging. So you may be worried about something you're going through, but it's just natural aging. No need to worry. Stress. Change of life. Menopause. Changes. And then you think, okay, how can I treat this? Okay, look how many cards there are for treatment. So we've got a hearing test. So maybe you're having problems with your ears, you know, and you, it could just be chakra healing. You may pull up the ascension card, but maybe your ego is on overdrive and you think, what do I do? So the angels say, well, to put your mind at rest, go and have a hearing test. And then you'll know it's ascension. Scream it out, especially if you're having, you know, you've got any anger in there or you're dealing with heartburn, scream. Dental work. So again, same thing. We go through a lot of dental pain as a twin flame or as a light worker because it's connected with decisions. So maybe you think, oh, I just need to go and get my teeth checked. Raphael is saying dental work. So this doesn't necessarily mean that you need to have this work done or you need to have treatment. It means this may help. Okay, so in other words, if you're panicking and you think, oh, I need to get my teeth checked out, go and have it checked out. You may need to have blood tests or maybe that's what you're thinking about. Chiropodist, if you're having issues with the feet or the toes, there may be an addiction. And Raphael is saying treatment. We can break the addiction together. We, capital letters, because sometimes we can't do it alone. You know, and if you are trying to break an addiction right now, go to the playlist. I've done two videos. Okay, one that's quite old, one's recent uh, um, how to heal any addiction with the help of the angels and a power cleanse. It's very powerful. Treatment cut out toxins. That could be alcohol, certain foods, certain things from, you know, your diet or your environment. Schedule a treatment plan. That may be all you need to do. Let it pass through your system. Okay. That could be if you're going through some kind of illness or you're going through, you know, maybe you've eaten something dodgy. Just let it pass through your system. Your body knows what to do. Cut out caffeine, alcohol or any other drug. That's the treatment. Treatment time off. You may just need a rest. Light exercise and movement. So you may need to move your body a little bit, but do it lightly. See yourself fully healed. That's a treatment because that works with the mind to create. Relieve stress. 
Maybe all you need to do is just de-stress a little bit, that's all. Maybe you just need to have some fun and relax. Acknowledge, you know, acknowledgement, allow yourself to feel it without fear. So sometimes the treatment can be just acknowledging there is something going on and then feeling it without the fear. Because the ego, the ego just brings in total fear and panic. Rest for a while. Just have a little moment to breathe, pause, reflect. Gratitude. Gratitude is a life changer. It can change illness into health. Eye test. So maybe your eyes, you know, you think, oh, my eyes twitching or got problems with my eyes and not seeing things clearly. Eye test. Again, it could be that you have an eye test, there's nothing wrong. Or maybe it's time to, you know, get reading glasses or something needs to change. Could be to do with natural aging. Playfulness. You know, having more fun, bringing more light-hearted energy in as a healer. Do something you love. And you might think, wow, I didn't expect messages like this to come up. Neither did I. Neither did I. Because Raphael's like so many things we create in our mind through struggle. And all we need to do is go back to our inner child and have a time out. Treatment, lighten the load. Treatment, breathe deeply in and out to relieve tension. Treatment, drink more water. Breathe, well, breath work and meditation, but breathe, you know, breath work, meditation. Meditation is really a healing energy in itself. And what do we do in meditation? We calm. Calm your mind and relax. Listen to your body. Laughter. Chakra cleanse. That may all be, that may be all that you need. You know, maybe, because when the chakras are all bunged up with psychic debris and struggle... You know, we feel clogged up inside. So sometimes all we need to do is cleanse the chakras, seek outside help. So you may be thinking, do I need to see a doctor, a professional? Do I need to talk to someone about this? Yes. Okay. Seek outside help. Alternative medicine. So you may not need to take a prescription drug. You may just need to do a natural healing practice. This could also be things like Reiki, crystal healing, etc. Okay, calm down. Sometimes the only treatment we need is to calm down. I do that when I'm panicking. Archangel Raphael saying, calm down. Breathe, sit a moment, get your energy back. Allow love in. Sometimes we harden our heart and we don't want to allow love in. And if we do, we feel healthier. Get a good night's sleep. Sometimes things just feel a lot better in the morning. Allow the angels to cleanse your energy. And they can do that through sleep, through meditation, through power cleanses. Allow it to run its course. This is a lot like let it pass through your body. You know, allow it to run its course. Allow it to do its thing. So that can mean it just needs to heal by itself. Make peace with it because it will heal naturally. Make peace with it. Ask for help. That's prayer. Have faith in God. With God, all things are possible. Talk to someone. All you may need to do is talk about your problems. Talk to someone. That could even be having a reading or, you know, connecting with a therapist of some kind. Get it checked out for your own peace of mind. Again, there it is. Sometimes we go to the hospital or we go to a doctor for peace of mind. Take a vacation. So maybe time for a holiday. Treatment acceptance. Accepting this is how it is for now. You'll heal and get better. You are learning. So you may get this card and then think, right, I need to go to the observe cards. And then you get it's part of God's plan or there's a soul lesson being learned or there's a spiritual reason. Pray, ask and it is given. When we ask, we receive help. And you know your body better than anyone. Trust in that, okay? So those are the treatment energies. Let me just put them to one side here. And then we've got love, okay, love. So this is how we learn to love ourselves. So if you're going through something, you may want to look at the love cards because we've got you are still you. And my mum kind of channeled this through to me because, you know, when she went through her cancer and she went through a big operation, she changed on the outside. And the message is you are still you. You are still you. Isn't that a beautiful message? Because no matter what you're going through, what physical changes you go through, you are still you, you know, whether you lose your hair to cancer or you go through a radical change in the body. You know, they show me things like burns or if you go through something, you're still you. So it's about loving yourself and finding peace. Sometimes all we need to do is 
find peace and that brings love in. Your body forgives you, I love that, because sometimes we do abuse our body through smoking, drinking alcohol, you know, doing things we shouldn't do. And when we apologise to our body, our body will forgive us. When I quit smoking all those years ago, and I used to be a chain smoker, I apologised to my lungs, and my lungs forgave me. Your body listens to you, your body is part of you, it's a living, breathing thing. Get to know your body. That means look in the mirror and be excited about what you see. You know, you are healthy, beautiful, strong. Be proud of yourself and forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for anything you may have done, anything you may have thought towards yourself, anything negative. Children and babies. So maybe children and babies are what's on your mind. You want to have children and babies or you want to spend more time around children and babies because that brings love in. Your body loves you. Your body loves you, so love your body. Pregnancy is possible. So maybe you're thinking, oh, you know, am I going to be able to have children? With God, all things are possible. This is God that's saying, yes, pregnancy is possible. doesn't matter what the doctors say or what society says about ageing. You know your own truth. Relationships. Sometimes all we need to do is bring more love into all of our relationships, family, friendships, and twin flame journey kiss it better and this means be good to yourself you know not long ago I really hurt my toe you know banged it up I stubbed it and I spent 10 minutes just talking to my toe I kissed it better I apologized for hurting it I was talking to the other toes saying can you look after this toe and help it to heal and I woke in the morning and it was the pain had gone because and it was throbbing it was so sore you know bashed it big time and you know, I, I talked to it and I was kissing it better and loving it. And that's sometimes all the body needs. And you may think that's crazy and weird. You may think it's totally normal. But it helps and it works. So kiss it better. And this could also be kissing it better in your relationship. It may just be what you need to have some intimacy with your person to feel better. Work, career, finances. So when we love our work and our career and finances, things feel better. You know, there's nothing more stressful than having a bad time at work or having money worries or wondering what's going on with career. When we feel at peace with things, we thrive. So Archangel Raphael is saying, take a look at your life. And if you're not loving what's going on with these areas of your life, it's time to change. Be kind to yourself. Sometimes that's all we need to do. And then we've got the last um, lot of cards is relax. So you might think, what do I need to do? Relax, indulge in a massage to boost circulation. So if you're having circulation issues and you pull this card, say if you're having numb feet and toes or, you know, your fingers, the angel's saying all you need is a massage because it'll boost your circulation. Give it time, so breathe, okay? You may be panicking over what something someone has said or what's happened or maybe you're in separation from your twin or something's gone on. And the angel's saying, relax, give it time, breathe. Have a nice, refreshing shower. It's going to cleanse you. It's going to release any psychic attack. It's going to revitalize you and rejuvenate you and make you feel better. And be near water to bring in the calm energy of flow. So you may need to go near a body of water like the ocean, a lake, a pond, a river, because it's bringing in the flow. Spend moderate time in the sun to replenish vitamin D. So you may want a holiday. Maybe you pull a vacation card and you think, right, I'm going to go and spend some time in the sun. But the angels are reminding you, make sure it's moderate time. That means don't overdo it, don't bake, don't get sunburn or, you know, don't hurt yourself in the sun. But when you go in the sun, it's good for you because it replenishes vitamin D. There is nothing to worry about. Relax. So you may be worrying about you, someone else. There's no need to worry. Relax. Have a nice, long, refreshing walk. So maybe all you need to do to relax is go out in nature. There's no need to worry. So Archangel Raphael putting you, you know, your mind at rest. Have a nice cleansing bath. You know, get your energy back. Have some you time and get some rest. And you may think, well, where's the go out in nature card? There it is, you know. It says, you know, go out and for a nice, long, refreshing walk. And these cards could have gone on and on. There were so many other cards and other messages that I wanted to bring in. And, you know, it's like Archangel Raphael saying, those are for another time. 
So I feel there's another deck to come, okay? Just not quite like this. So that's what this is. So let's do it together then. You think, okay, am I okay? I'm going to put the yes and no together. Am I okay? Am I okay? Yes, you will feel better soon, okay? So I came to Raphael saying, yes, you're okay. You'll feel better soon. Maybe you pull this and you're thinking, yes, I need to just add a few more bits and pieces to my diet. And then you think, okay, what's the diagnosis right now? Why am I going through what I'm going through? Or what do I need to be aware of? There is no physical cause. There we go. So more than likely, you know, if you're using this part right now as a reading, there's no physical cause because you're going through ascension or something similar. So you think, okay, there's no physical cause. So what's the answer then? So get the answer cards. There it is straight away. Mending and healing. There's already healing and mending taking place, whether that's in your outside world or your inside world. So what's the treatment then? What do you need to do right now to feel better? A couple of cards jumping out. First card is schedule a treatment plan. The second card is let it pass through your system. So a treatment plan could be thinking about what you need to do. Okay, so this can be so many things. It's not always about physical treatments. It could be about, right, I'm going to use a gratitude journal. I'm going to do, you know, yoga. I'm going to start doing meditations. And I'm going to let all the fear and stress pass through my system. Okay, treatment plan could be that you decide to, they're giving me a little bit of fear there, see a doctor and then a lot of fear being released there. And then, you know, you come up with some form of treatment plan that you need to do. But that I feel all that fear coming out then is about feeling better because you feel at peace. And I feel this deck will bring so much peace to people. And that's why I wanted to create it, because I wanted to create a deck that would work for me to bring peace in. So I knew for that to happen, I had to create one myself. You know, rather than looking outside of myself, I wanted to create one myself. And that's why I've created it with the intention that this is going to bring comfort and peace and an energy of calm in when we're going through struggle. And I know it will help you. So we've got the love. So you may feel, OK, well, how can I bring love into my body and life and... How can I bring love in? Knowing that you are still you. So whatever you're going through, you are still you. So, you know, for me, for example, you know, I'm going through perimenopause and I've changed a lot about me. You know, I've stopped dyeing my hair. I've, I've let all my hair grow out. So I'm wearing wigs. And the message is I'm still me, you know, and that's what we have to understand. So you may get the observed cards and think, OK, what do I need to know? Now, all of these fell out for a reason. You know, there is a soul lesson being learned. View it from a higher place. It's part of God's plan. There is a spiritual reason. So when we observe all these things anyway, we do feel healthier. And then you might, might think, okay, how can I relax right now? What does Archangel Raphael want me to do to relax? What does Raphael want me to do? There is no need to worry. Just understand there's nothing to worry about. And then we're going to put all the cards together. So as I said... Okay, you may not like shuffling it because it's such a big deck. It's a bit like the silence. I can't remember how many cards are in here. I think there's 130 or something like that. So I'm just doing this a little bit. And then I'm going to show you how else you can use it. So I've got four cards coming out. Yes, you're okay. Okay, we've got yes, you are a healer. So maybe you're thinking, can I heal others? Can I use this deck to heal others? Will this deck help others? Yes, you are a healer. So remember, it's your energy, not the deck that's causing the healing because you're expressing, you know, what you're channeling through. Yes, with faith. So with faith, all things are possible. And yes, there is healing. OK, so they're all yes cards. Now, what you may, I mean, obviously I haven't shuffled this properly, but, you know, I'm just showing you for effect. So I'm just going to explain them all out. So you might think, OK, well, I'm going to explain them all out. And I'm going to ask, what do I need to know? And you may close your eyes and then you pull a card. Yes, we can break the addiction together, treatment. So there may be an addiction that needs to be broken. And you know, that addiction can be things like being on social media too much, you know, being on your phone too much. These are addictions. So, you know, you can shuffle these however you feel guided. Now, you know, we can do what they call the Hollywood shuffle. Okay, like this. There's a lot of cards there though. So you may want to split them in two and then shuffle them like this. This is a good way of doing it when you've got big decks because you might think, whoa, why does Liz always create such big decks? It isn't me, it's the angels. 
we've got natural aging, change of life, okay? Nothing to worry about. That might be a menopause situation. Or it could be a midlife crisis. Maybe your twin's going through a midlife crisis because they're aging naturally. Your body knows what to do. Calm your mind and relax. The answer is no. Ask for further guidance. You just need time out. So you may say, is there anything physically wrong with me? And it's no. No, ask for further guidance. You just need time out. Do you see? So you can use this deck however you feel guided to use this deck. But if you are struggling to shuffle it, a lot like with the, the silence deck, there's a lot of cards in this too. You know, Divine Mask and the Silence. So if you are struggling to shuffle, split it in two and then shuffle one. Okay. And if any cards come out, then you know that they're meant to. Just give it a little shuffle like this. Break up the energy a little bit. Some people throw all the cards on the floor and pick them all back up. It's a good way of shuffling. You know, you do it however feels good to you. And then you kind of know when they're ready because they stop. And then I'm going to do the other ones, the other cards, like the other side, the other side, the other part of the deck, like this. And there we go. See how they, it's like the, the card jumped out and then the card stopped. That's how I know they're ready. So these energies we need to hear are diagnosis worry you just may be worried right now so the angel saying it's just worry let go breathe we've got treatment cut out caffeine alcohol or any other drug so if you find you're drinking too much caffeine tea coffee maybe you're drinking energy drinks or you know you're having a drink at night or you know like alcohol or you're doing any other drug it's time to cut that out because that will help to release worry sometimes we do these things to release worry but it doesn't work it has the opposite effect yes there is healing so maybe you're thinking you know can i heal and give up caffeine is there going to be a healing around an addiction yes there is healing and the answer is mending and healing so things are already, already being healed so i hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough just gives you a little bit of an idea about what this deck is and what i do with a deck you know i get a little elastic band or a hair band and I'll just put it around the deck so you know this is what I do all my decks are here easy to get rather than having a box or you know anything else to put them in just buy yourself like a little pack of hair bands or elastic bands and you just keep all your decks together I do it with every single deck I've got so if I receive a deck for example I throw away the box usually and I band the card deck up with the guidebook on top so I know what it is and I keep it that way. And you may want to store everything in the boxes because, you know, like George keeps the boxes because he says, you know, they've got value with the box and things like that. But those things don't bother me. I just like them easy to grab when I need them. And I find this is the easiest way. So this is Archangel Raphael, the healing angel, the divine physician of heaven in his oracle of healing. And if you want to buy this deck or you want to have a look for yourself, you can follow the link to this this deck in the description box below it will take you to my make plain cards website and the deck is there i have got over 40 decks now on there so you know there is different pages you know i have to click onto the next page when you're on like a shopping website or you know make sure you have a good look through because you'll find this deck and you know i am planning my intention is to create an archangel deck every month of this year so that's the plan anyway but i wanted to begin with archangel raphael to be able to bring in some healing for you guys when you're going through things in the body or in the mind i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon